troubleshooting the Brother TN253 and 257. When you install a new TN253 or 257 cartridge and you get a prompt cartridge error, replace toner or no toner, you might want to check a couple of things first. Open the printer front cover and keep it open. Simultaneously press the back and X buttons together, release and hit the back button straight away. If done correctly, the printer screen will display the reset menu. Use the up or down arrows to choose the correct cartridge that you want to reset. Typically this will be high yield for the color and then standard for the black. Usually you only have one choice on the black, but there will be two choices on the color. HC means high capacity, STD means standard capacity. On the screen, choose yes to accept the reset. You'll then get a message that says accepted. And then close the front cover and hit the back button to bring the printer back to normal. Further troubleshooting. If you get a no toner message, you might just want to also just check the physical gear on the cartridge to make sure it's in the full position and not empty. The image on the left shows the cartridge in its new or full position ready to print. The image on the right shows the gear in the used or empty position. If this was a new toner that had just been installed and the, and the gear was triggered to empty by accident, it needs resetting. Resetting the gear on the TN253 and 257 is really simple. Remove or slide off the gear rack. Lift and remove the count gear rack from the used empty position and move it to the new full position between the guide rails. This side view gives you a better angle showing the gear count rack tucked in between the guide rails. Slide on or re reinstall the gear rack to the original position. If the gear is in the correct position and you're still getting an error message, basically you want to be checking the chip, the connection of the chip, or make sure the chip is a current chip. The other point to note is that these printers do not like more than one cartridge being changed at a time. If you do need to change more than one at a time and you get error messages and you know that the gear's in the right position and the chip is new or current, then you might want to turn the printer off, take the power cord out, leave that off for at least 15 or 20 seconds, power it up again and just see if it'll go. That quite often seems to fix the problem. By taking the power cord out, the printer is dumping its memory of what cartridges are in there and it forces the printer to re-interrogate the chip and look at the cartridge to reset itself. A low toner message does not mean change the toner. Changing a toner when the printer is not asking or expecting it can confuse the driver and the levels don't get reset. The cartridge will still print, so why throw your money in the bin? If you have changed more than one toner and you have an issue, put the old toners back in and then change them out one at a time, only the ones that you really need to change. And don't forget, inside every box there's a full reset instruction sheet covering both the LCD models and the touchscreen models. Thanks for watching, and remember if you have any issues, always contact your local reseller quickly and they will be able to get you out of trouble. Ego Advanced, leading the way with the latest chips and the lowest failure rates.